Welcome to Hush Tarot 1111. I am Hush coming at you live from none other than the Boom Boom Room. And I haven't done one of these in a while, but now is the perfect time. So this is gonna be one of my candle wax readings in my bowl of water here. I've already set the intention that we get some messages in regards to the divine feminine and the divine masculine and just kind of seeing what their sexual energy for each other is at the moment. As you can see, I got my big old clump of rose quartz in the middle. And so y'all know me, ever since I started making my own candles, I only use my own supply. So we have a neutral <laughs> uh, PP candle, okay, penis candle. And then I also have one of my pussy pucks, okay? Um, this is a wax melt. And as you notice, they both are blue because I do feel as though um, there's some communication uh, coming between the divine masculine and the divine feminine okay so we're gonna go ahead and get started with that and of course to light it up i got my orange lighter here uh to represent the sacral chakra so we're just gonna get right started so you guys sit back and let's see what we have here so let me take a deep breath and let's start let's start with the divine feminine because we we generally always know what the masculine's up to but um let's start here so spirit See here, what's what is the current sexual energy for the divine feminine for the divine masculine? And so this is gonna be a little different because the pussy puck doesn't have a wick, so I'm just gonna run the light over it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so immediately what I see as I like this, it's giving me a letter. So it's the letter J, but it's also looks like a, <laughs> it does look like a pussy, okay? It's also forming into a vagina. So uh, what I'm getting from that is she's good and ready, okay? <laughs> she is hot and ready like little Caesars, okay? Because I'm also seeing um, a V shape. Now that's what I'm saying, pussy. But yeah. So for some of you, your person, the divine masculine, could have the name, uh, letter J. I'm hearing Jasmine, but I'm also hearing um, Gerard or Jared as well is what I'm hearing. Um, so this could be your divine masculine. Take that energy for however it resonates. But let's, let's get some more, okay? Ooh. Okay, so what I'm kind of, oh, wait a minute now. Okay, some of y'all might be a little too ready because <laughs> the, the formation that I just got inside of the V, okay, it looks like a little, a little fetus, a little body. So listen, some of you divine feminines out there are in a space where you are ready for children uh, and the way that it's resting inside of the V, the V, I'm gonna show you guys. Do you see how it's resting inside the V? Some of y'all better be ready, okay? Cause some of y'all are getting pregnant, a point blank and the period. Um, but I keep hearing um, in my head right now, uh, Brian McKnight, you make everything in my life much sweeter and it's all because of you, ooh. Let's see, what else is going on with you, Divine Feminine? So what I'm getting is for some of y'all, y'all are ready for the masculine to put a baby in you, okay? One or two, but let me see here. Okay. Wow. Ooh. And as I say, one or two. Um, so this is heavily focused on motherhood is what I'm seeing because there was another form okay that looks like a fetus or a child so for some of you um, maybe you initially had a child with your divine masculine and this one is turning black so it's a possibility that that child um probably was not born it may be through due to a loss okay uh, for some of you it also looks like a womb itself so for some of you you are doing some intense womb healing right now some womb correction okay kind of expelling negative energies and entities out of your womb so keep that up so as far as it pertains to the divine masculine what i'm hearing is that he better come correct 
all the way correct because you didn't do all this work on yourself, on your body, on that good cooch for nothing is what I'm also hearing. So let me see here. So as I'm letting the, the wax melt, it looks like it formed into a snail. <laughs> so it formed into a snail. So what I get from that is slowly but surely you're working toward the progression, okay, of seeing what this could be for the both of you, okay? But it also, oh, wow. So as the water's flowing, it looks like it's, it transformed into a half a heart. Not even a half a heart. It's a like a three quarters of a heart. So for some of you, you are open. You are becoming more open to the idea that this connection is possible between you and your divine masculine. For others of you, you have been doing a lot of heart healing. Okay. And you're more than halfway there as it pertains to your own self-love and, and building your your empire, your queendom, okay? Anything else, Spirit? What, so what would it take for the Divine Masculine, okay, for you two to finally get to the business, okay? <laughs> I'm hearing um, Chingy in my head. Give me a call if you wanna come roll with me. If you was my baby, okay? <laughs> I'm only one call away. So what I'm getting from this, it, it created like a swirl, uh, almost like a whirlpool. And so what I'm getting from this is that the Divine Masculine, you're going to have to stop playing games. Stop playing games and, and make this thing a reality, okay? Let us know what, what it is that you truly want because the Divine Feminine is waiting, okay? Some of you, let me say that. Others of you don't give a shit anyway. Either way, you spend the coin. But let's see here. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. You are going to have to stop playing games. But what I see here is that as it went into the whirlpool, it's showing, it, it, it's like formed like a serpent. Okay, so uh, for some of you, you have been beefing up your sexual knowledge as well. You've been looking at Kama Sutra books. You've been looking at, for some of you, I'm getting like, you've been doing more stretches, like pelvic stretches um, as well. Possibly giving, getting into some sort of tantra, perfecting your craft, okay? Because when you do get this person, for a select few of you, you're going to whip it on him. Okay, you're not you coming with all the shit. Okay, you got these shits ready for him. Okay, let's see here. Is there anything else when it's all said and done? What's the possible outcome for the divine feminine? What's on her heart and mind? For some of y'all, it's like I'm hearing you're getting juicier by the day. Because if y'all can tell, this this candle is just dripping. Okay, so for some of y'all, y'all been hot and ready. He just has to come on with it. So let's see here. <laughs> so yeah, some of y'all are ready to gush, okay? And this actually formed into an actual human heart from what I can see here. So uh, for some of you, you are working more on your health or you're preparing, okay? For some of you, you're getting your cardio up, okay? Because you already know that this is about to be an event um, when you two do come together is what I'm hearing. So, ooh. I'm, I'm featuring that, okay? I'm featuring all of that. So let's see here. What does the Divine Masculine have to say? Because we're more than halfway through that pussy puck. So let's see. And it's all because of you. You make everything in my life much sweeter. And y'all, keep in mind, this is a neutral candle, but um, combined combined with some of my uh, drip oil, okay, my passion drips, this thing will go off, okay? You will get you somebody in an instant, okay? Or enhance what's already there between you and someone else. So let me see, I'm just let it burn down for a little bit. As y'all can see, this is um, five inches and fully functional, okay? So let's see. And I don't be looking to waste no product, but, uh, ooh. <laughs> Immediately, some of y'all, um, some of your DMs are battling hot dick. 
I'm not gonna lie, um, their penis is on fire, okay? But um, looking at this and how long and strong the, can the flame is, okay? It's pretty high. Their passion never went away for you, okay? Um, at all, for some of y'all, it's only gonna ignite even further. So let me get some messages off of that, okay? Y'all, <laughs> I'm hearing um, Tupac in my head. How do you want it? <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> oh, yeah. So for some of y'all, I'm hearing you're divine masculine saying it ain't nothing but a thing. We can make this happen. Okay. I'm hearing 112. We can do it anywhere. <laughs> this person has been waiting okay on you now i do feel as though because what i'm seeing here in the ca y'all <laughs> the wax itself as it's forming on the water it formed into the shape of a penis it turned it literally turned into a tingling <laughs> so this person for some of y'all um has been heavily misguided by his dingling as of late okay but when it comes to you it's like either way you spin the coin this person is ready to give you everything that he has, okay? He or she take the energy for however it resonates. And I'm going to turn it over just so we can make sure that the wax melts evenly, okay? Let me see what else. So what I'm getting out of this, because the wax is also forming into a heart right now, the DM is saying that you have his heart and his mind right now. So I feel like for some of them, they have been restricting themselves uh, in that arena because for some of them, they do have an overactive sacral chakra, okay? So they've been restricting themselves because they are preparing, so to speak, to be with you. So I'm also seeing here on the wax, it also looked like it formed a letter J. So again, uh, it could be you or them take the energy fire it resonates. I'm hearing Jared. Jamisha, Jackson, Jason, Jared, Jarrett's. I've never heard that name, but anything else? Okay, those are all the names that I have. Let's see here. Now, this shape also looks like, and very similar to what, and I didn't say that earlier, with the divine feminine, they're both forming V shapes. So the name could also be a V, Veronica, Victoria. Uh, but I'm also getting like, it's in the shape of a boomerang. So both of you recognize at this point that no matter how far you two stray, you're two gonna come back together, period, point blank. And that may not always be in the romantic sense, but you two, Y'all y'all recognize who you are to each other is what I'm getting. So you two will always be back. Now, I also see here that it's kind of forming a shield as it pertains to uh, the divine masculine. So right now his guard is a little up because he's nervous is what I'm getting. Very nervous. Okay. He's afraid that he's still being, he's afraid of you judging him is what I'm hearing. He or she, again, take the energy how, how it resonates because it's a masculine, I always say him, okay? But he's afraid of being judged by you. That's the thing. It's almost as if anyone else you, you could say whatever you want to say, especially when it comes to the bedroom for a select few of y'all. People can say whatever they want to say and it doesn't even matter, but it's it's something about you. He has, <laughs> I'm seeing the wax is also shaping into like a, it looks like a little uh, grandma. Like, <laughs> so for some of them, if um, it feels like someone in a rocking chair, but I'm getting like a little bun on the side. So it could be a grandma. Um, so part of this could be a part of, what he experienced growing up a matriarchal figure always critiquing him but it could also be that for select few of them they feel as though they may be a little too old for you 
or maybe their stamina may not be up to par as they perceive yours to be. Okay, so take that energy for however it resonates. That being said, because this is also forming into a crown, this person wants you to recognize that they are still king dingling. <laughs> Okay, they will give you the best that they got, okay? They are willing to give it to you, but right now, as it pertains to their heart, they are still a little guarded, okay? They do want you to know that, but it doesn't take away the fact that they do love you. Wow. But it's, it's this judgment that they're fearing. When I tell you if this, I keep seeing little dicks that, <laughs> or penises, let, let me be politically correct, um, that are forming. Wow. But this person is horny for you. Like this person is saying it's on and popping. It's on, it's on site the minute they see you. Okay. Or soon for those of you that are not in connection with them at the moment, the first window of opportunity is on. So for some of you, and I've been saying this, y'all, I have been saying this for weeks now. Somebody is getting pregnant, okay? For a select few of you, <laughs> might be twins, okay? Anything else, Divine Masculine? I just keep hearing, you make everything in my life much sweeter. Ooh. Let's see. So what I'm hearing is all they want is the chance, but they're they're so scared that they're going to mess this up. Okay, I see why. So for a select few of you, your DM may have certain fantasies that they have not shared with you. Cause this looks like, um, this looks, it kind of formed like, an, again, I keep seeing penises, like a sausage going in somebody's mouth. Okay. So for some of you, um, or maybe not even fantasies, but the reality of who they are, especially in the bedroom and their, maybe their sexuality. Maybe they haven't told you everything about it. So for some of them, they could be pansexual or bisexual. Take the energy for how it resonates. I don't want to misquote. And they just haven't shared that information with you. And so that that's another reason why they fear that judgment. Because for some of them, it's like they, they grew up in a community where it's frowned upon. Or they currently live in a community where it's like frowned upon. And it's just not talked about. Okay. So I'm seeing here. Okay. So as I'm talking about this, the wax is forming into the shape. It looks like Texas. Okay. So your divine masculine could be from Texas. I'm also hearing Alabama because it's also shaping into the shape of Alabama. Let's see here. So it could be very, very conservative. Anything else? But I'm I'm most definitely seeing right here like Alabama and Texas. Okay. So religion may also have played a part. And why they're so they fear this judgment. Cause it kind of looks like prayer hands right here. Okay. Okay. So from what I see here, this kind of took the form of like a figure kind of posing like suggestively. So, for some of you, your divine masculines may may have done something in their past that would suggest they've they've done some risque things. Let's 
okay? And they just haven't shared that with you. So for some, they may have, um, Oh, Lord, we getting, <laughs> we getting deep into it. So for some, they may have been into like prostitutes or prostitution, like for some of them, okay? They could have been working the streets or they could have been buying someone from the streets. It doesn't matter, okay? Take the NG5 resonates, but they, they just don't want to feel as if they shared that with you, that that would turn you off or turn you away. Okay, so let's see here. Okay. I'm just finding a neutral spot in the water. Oh. So what I just heard is, um, but this it doesn't change the fact that this person wants to make you drool, okay? Like I'm getting images of like they they want the the <laughs> they want to give you the gawk gawk three thousand, and even here again I keep seeing penises. It but this one is an exploding pe like y'all know what I'm saying. You know when it's all said and done, this one is oozing, okay, with fertilizer. <laughs> so let me see here. They just want to build, what I'm also hearing is even outside of the bedroom, they just want you to build more trust in them or trust in them more, okay? But they're ready for that, the, the romantic aspects of it all. Because I'm seeing right here, it's a couple of hearts, some penises and some hearts, okay? Let me see here. Let's... We're going to leave that right there for a second. Blow it out. Okay, so. Divine Feminine. And y'all, oof. I just took three inches off this thing. <laughs> so anything else, Divine Feminine? What is your response to that? What is your response to his him feeling judged about some things or you judging? Okay, let's see here. <laughs> so immediately what I got from that is an axe. Okay, um, right here in the water. So what I get from that is it doesn't matter. Like this is saying like she's trying to cut through the bullshit. Like quick, fast, in a hurry. Everything that this person is saying right now, feeling judged. No, the divine feminine saying she's not here to judge you. Because uh, I'm here. I'm, I'm oh, okay. So divine feminine has some desires too. Okay, freaky too. Okay, let's see. Okay. So here we go. We got some more penis action. Okay. So what I get from that is the divine feminine really could care less as far as a person's sexuality like it doesn't judge because from what i'm seeing here she's on she some of you okay let me say that it's like some of you are on the spectrum as well you may be also pansexual or i'm also hearing this it doesn't matter because i like to have fun and do y'all see all this blue sparking off the, the candle off this wax melt Y'all see that, right? Okay. So on <laughs> this part right here, it kind of looks like a like a hand doing this, like come on anyway, like bring your ass on. Enough is enough. <laughs> okay, it's what I'm getting from Divine Feminine. I'm, I'm, it's like she's not here to judge. She doesn't care about the things that you. And not to say that in a bad way. It's like those things don't matter and. A person that truly loves you isn't going to judge you. So bring your ass on. <laughs> See here. Okay. 
Okay, let's see here. Because I'm here. Come here, bring that dick here. Okay. <laughs> but I'm also seeing um here there's a form. It looks like a, a feminine figure with her arms spread out like she's wearing something like luscious so for some of you that are still very interested in this connection divine feminist says she's waiting to bust out all her tricks <laughs> like what you talking to fuck what you talking about this is happening okay anything else Okay, so I see something spicy happening. Okay, let me see. Okay. See, so, so definitely prepare, be prepared for handcuffs, things of that nature. Um, she's and I'm seeing like fuzzy handcuffs as well. So, the divine feminine is ready to play for a select few of you as it pertains to the sexual energy she's revved up and ready to go i'm also seeing like it also looks like two fingers over here in this corner it looks like a woman like y'all know what i'm saying you know so she still very much is passionate for the divine masculine okay and if you have not been in contact with your divine masculine you imagine all you you pleasure yourself at the thought of some very serious interludes between the two of you okay so anything else because you're almost out so do you have anything else to add Woo! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! i know y'all saw that right Woo! she got the fever Okay, just bring that dick here. Okay, let, I'm going to leave it alone. I'm not going to say anything else after that. Uh, that burst of fire just, just said everything that we needed to know. And I'm just going to sit this <laughs> on top of the bottom half. Okay, uh, but y'all, it smells divine in here at this moment because the candles are scented with um, pomegranate and apples. So, y'all. It, it's amazing so that's what i have between the two of y'all i don't know why you two are worried it's just the divine feminine and the divine masculine you two need to continue to beef up your communication and talk these things out okay and that's only going to enhance the love and the lust that you two have for each other is the energy that i'm getting here but moreover guys you're just gonna have to trust trust that what is happening between the two of you is meant to be this conversation is meant to be had okay it is planting seeds for something far greater but you two have to trust each other and continue healing okay is what i'm also hearing and define what i'm also hearing is define define the meaning of what what trust is to the both of you okay what does that look like Okay. What I'm also hearing is truly listening is more than just I hear you. The true listening is in the action. What else? Okay, is there anything else I can get from this? Okay, what I just heard is the truth is in the kiss. It's very similar to that old song. Oh no, he'll be deceived, is it in his eyes? Oh no, he'll make believe if you wanna know. If he loves your soul, it's in his kiss. That's where it is. Oh yeah. Like, <laughs> but it's both of you. So for those that are still very much wanting this connection, you'll know from the, the strength of the kiss, the truth will be in the kiss. Woo, that song makes a whole lot of sense now. 
and let that follow through with action. But I, there's communication coming. For some of y'all, I'm seeing uh, in the middle here, it's like some explosions. And again, here we go. Um, this actually kind of formed into a, a plug. Re go with me here. A plug. So for some of y'all, okay, whether you are them, y'all like to, y'all want to play with it, okay? Y'all are into some very adult play, okay, at the exit door. I'm being cute for YouTube. Now, anything else? Okay. I'm also seeing here, y'all, this is going to be a long one, okay? Because between hearing the messages from the water and the wax, woo, okay. So what I'm getting here as well is that the Divine Masculine is very, very eager because this looks like someone that is behind the other person with their hand behind their neck or behind their head. So like y'all might be into some kinky stuff here, um, but it's almost like he's saying he's ready to devour you. Okay. Again, he or she take the energy for however it resonates. Okay. But I also see out of that when I look at it from a different angle, it also looks like two people together, one is standing behind the other. And the one in front, I'm gonna assume is the mother because she's holding, it looks like a little bundle. So again, that's the second time I've said this, somebody is about to have a baby, okay? And I do feel like it might be a boy. It's just this energy that I'm getting from it. So I feel like I feel like this is about to be divinely escalated. <laughs> if that makes any sense. For those of you that are trying to to work on your connection by working on yourself, I do feel as though this is about to be a divine escalation, okay? Forget whatever it is your your plan was, okay? What spirit has planned is going to be something far greater, okay? And nothing like you expected. Anything else? Can I get out of here? Turn the bowl over a couple times. Okay. So, even as I look outside the parameters of the bowl, there's a lot of uh, little little um, spurts of wax that didn't mold. Um, so what I'm getting from that is mainly for the both of you, but especially on the Divine Masculines end, there's still a little bit of like shaky energy around him. So he is going to have to try to work to clear his energy. Uh, for some of them, I do feel like they are... They still have little attachments, okay, karmic attachments to them that they are trying to shake. But um, even as I turn the bowl over, they're slowly creeping in on him, but it's almost like there's a barrier there, okay? So he is working at that. Give him some credit, okay, Divine Feminine? Okay, but slowly but surely, okay, he is working on shooing them away, okay? And this could come in the form of other karmic partners or uh, vices. So that could be drugs, alcohol, the, the fast life is what I'm hearing. Okay. Because for some of them, I do get the feeling like they, they are ready for something else. Anything else? Let's see here. Okay. And what I see here is, again, like a large feminine figure when I flip it upside down. But you just stay in your feminine energy. And I do feel for a select few of the masculines, they are um, coming into grips with their own feminine energy. So this is a very good sign. Okay. So they're, they're stepping more into their feminine energy. Okay. Okay. 
I feel like for some of them, they have been going to get some counseling or they've been seeking guidance. Okay, not even this, and this is about their vices, okay, which is why they're they're clearing up. But but I'm also seeing y'all some spermies here, okay? They look like little spermy tadpoles. So I'm just saying, okay, some of y'all just better get ready, okay? If you don't want a child, I suggest you do whatever it is that you have to do to strap up because that is coming, okay? For some of y'all, it doesn't matter what you do. It's just going to come. All right, and I think that's all I have right now. Actually, on this end here, it looks like um, a flower, but I'm trying to figure out the name. It's a like, chrysanthemum. So for some of you, chrysanthemum flowers may also be very, very important to you, okay? But just be steadfast is the message that I'm getting from this, okay? The window has not closed is what I'm hearing. So give yourself some grace, give your divine masculine some grace, vice versa, take your divine feminine, take the energy for however it resonates. And everything's going to be okay. Just remember you walk by faith and not by sight. Okay. Even as it pertains to this connection, whether you want them or not, you walk by faith and not by sight. Because again, it's like, no matter what happens, you two are going to, you're going to come together. Okay. Now, however that looks is how it looks for your particular situation. But for those that are specifically romantically, it's about to get hot and heavy, okay, for a select few of you. Just keep working. And I'm going to leave that right there, y'all. Oh, this video was almost 40 minutes. I did not intend for it to be that long, but I want to thank you guys for rocking with me. I am working on the next video for my pick a card channel. Um, it has just been taking a little bit of time, y'all. Y'all let the storage be playing with me, okay? But I'm going to go ahead and get that taken care of. So be on the lookout because I will post that today as soon as it is done. And if you would like to purchase your own penis candle or your own pussy puck then you can do that right now on my website click the link down below in the description box and check out the boom boom hoodoo section um keep in mind these candles are neutral they are not infused with anything but you can also combine that with some of my passion drips oil or um also your own personal intention dress your candle for however you want um and you will see the results for yourself keep in mind this is not to bind anyone to you it will not work okay and that's for those that try to play those little games with that being said thank you guys so much for continuing to like share subscribe i ask that you continue to do it because it all helps me grow on this channel and um i am one more thing i will not be scheduling any readings uh, on my website starting from today going until I return. But if you do want a reading from me and, it, and it's serious and if you want a reading, then you can DM me, okay? Because remember, y'all, I'm going on vacation, okay? Um, but you can always DM me. And then, of course, from there, we will talk. You can cash at me. But in the meantime, you know, if it's something that we can wait on, then just let me know. But other than that, I will also be adding Akashic readings to my listing very, very soon, okay? And with that being said, I'm gonna sign out for now from the Boom Boom Room and I will talk to you all later. Peace and blessings and I love you. Take care. <laughs>